Welcome to Power BI Embedded Step by Step series. Myself, Dhruvin Shah, and you are watching the fourth part of this series. During this video, we are going to cover how we can create an Azure App function. So now, let's get started. It's a demo time. First, log in with the portal.azure.com. Here, I have logged in with the another user that is not the same as where we have published the Power BI report and our Power BI application. So uh, whatever Azure account you have with the active subscription you can use to create app function. So to create the app function go to the all resources, click on the add button. Here you can find serverless function app. So click on this serverless function app. Give any name of your function app. So, the name of my function app power bi sample 01 here you need to select your subscription i have selected pay as you go you need to create a resource group i am creating new resource group hosting plan location runtime stack i have selected dot net because i am going to run this function app based on the dot net code storage and just click on create It is taking some time to create the Azure app function and you can see its progress over here. Deployment is in progress. The deployment is successful. Now click on it or maybe you can directly go function app from the left hand side menu function apps. So now you can see here our sample power bi sample 01 has been created successfully. Click on it. So you can see this kind of screen on your machine. The first step that we need to do here is we need to create some key value pairs. Now which are these key value pairs let me show you. First of all we need to create these five keys with its value. So first is client id, group id, report id, username and password. Now what are these value let me explain you in the brief. Remember in the third step I told you to copy the application id so we already copied this application id of azure portal so we just need to copy this key from here and we just provide it to our client id so this is the application id that we have created on our azure portal using our third video correct now here there is an id of the group id and report id so this is the id that you are getting from your power bi published report so just open the published report this is the published report so just copy this url and paste it to notepad now here you can see the groups slash so whatever this value is it is your group id so i'm copying this and just add it here so it is our group id similar way this is your report id reports and after that whatever this id it is your report id so paste your report id over here now here you need to enter your power bi pro license username and password so my power bi username is all right and whatever the password for the account that you have written over here you just need to mention it to here correct so these are the five key value pair that we need to create in our azure app function so now let's go to the browser so first go to the application setting so just click on add new setting now you need to enter all the keys with this name you can give any name but i am following this pattern then group id same way report id username all right now we need to add its value over here so this is my client id adding it to here this is my 
this is my group id just paste the value report id username and password let's check all the stuff all right now once you add these five keys just save your changes using this save button so your setting has been created successfully now go to the function app settings select runtime version as one because we are going to create a c sharp function it will take some time all right now go to the function tab and click on the new function here you can see the http trigger function now click on the c sharp option from here c sharp give the name of your function and click on create button your function has been created successfully this is some predefined code provided created by the function itself now expand this option view files and create one additional file named project.json click on the add button and give the name of the file project.json now add the following line of code over there so basically it tells that we are going to use the dotnet framework and its dependency are this don't worry i have uh, provided the link in the description box to download the code for it or else the same information available in form of the blog in my c sharp corner so i already provided this link in the description box as well and this is actually the same article in the form of the blog so you can also follow the procedure from here all right so let me just paste this code over here and click on save and run button all right the file has been saved and run successfully now we need to go to run.csx file click on it let me just minimize these logs over there now i am providing some line of code to you so this is the code that we have developed so let me just give you a little bit overview of this code so first of all we have added some namespaces on the top so we are going to use power bi api and we are using the active directory namespace over here we're using some web script serialization as well and simple some system dot configuration and system dot dot net so if you have a basic idea of the you know dot net core then it is very easy to understand this thing to you and these are the uh, uh, key value pair that we have added in the application setting of the f workspace so i just uh, i'm just adding getting those value to this variables and after that i have created one function over here in which first i we are passing username and password uh, which call our power bi service uh, azure active directory account and uh, get the access token from there so basically you just need to copy this code i'm copying this code and paste this code in our azure portal so i'm just replacing this code with my new code i'm saving the stuff all right so i have saved my code over here now just hit a refresh button to the app function so every changes has been reflected over there properly now it's time to run our code so click on the run button our code is running now and you can check the status from here just scroll down and here you are getting the successful output that is 200 okay that means the code has been run successfully without any error and this is the callback output that we are getting over here and we are going to use this output in our next video all right so 
some time what happen here is here you are not getting the 200 okay status instead of it you are getting some 404 error or 501 error all right so this ha error has been occurred because uh, remember in the third video we have registered the power bi application into azure app using this option so just go to the app registration and make sure that you have given the permission to your app if you did not assign the permission to your app properly you are you will get the 501 or maybe 404 error so uh, to resolve that error you just need to go to the setting option and go to this required permission and make sure that both the options has been done with grant permission if you did not assign the grant permission properly to uh, your you know both the of azure active directory and power service definitely you are getting the error over there this is the only thing that you know you can face during this execution so that's it for the fourth video in my next video we are going to use power bi javascript sdk and embed our power bi report into html page using the access token that we are getting in the current video all right thank you so much for watching this video if you have any question related to this video, you can email us at dhruvinsha16 at gmail.com or you can WhatsApp me on plus 919537981467. If you really like this video, don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon to receive the constant notification from our channel. If you want to receive a daily WhatsApp notification from my channel, just click on this icon it will redirect you to this form fill the form so that you will receive the daily notification on whatsapp stay connected with me on my facebook page linkedin and twitter the links are available in the description box